Now to reiterate, obviously, if I were to actually use this technology, um, I would lose the game de facto. But it is necessary to maximize my score given the circumstances, which I'm trying to do. Um, all right. Okay. Oh, that's good. All right. There is my population jump. It's even bigger than I thought. 94 million. Okay. Now, we should look at my... Double check to make sure this is working. Good. Okay. We'll look at my close to final results. So, Wonders of the World. The Zulus have the pyramids and the Great Wall. The Germans have Leonardo's Workshop. The English have the Hanging Gardens. And the Germans have the Great Library. But everything else is mine. That's good. Top five cities are all mine. What is the number one? I don't even remember that. Huh. So the ranking Rome is number one. I think not because of the population, because Pisae is the biggest, but because it has a combination of population and wonders. Civilization score. This is over 2,000, so it's much, much more than it was before. And I've got the plus three points for peace. I've got 75 points from future technology, and I might have more by the time this is over. 400 possible points from the spaceship. There are my wonders. There's my population. And I've managed to eliminate the discontent with the luxuries rate. Um, the demographics are not as favorable as they were earlier in the game. Notice my literacy rate is only 96%. This is because of all the conquered territory not being properly developed. My pollution is also a little bit high because I'm the most industrialized. And my productivity is also suffering because I simply don't have the infrastructure in place that the English do in proportion to the number of cities I have because I have so many that are new settlements and so many that were recently conquered. I'm hoping to fix this in a rush if I can. Now let's take a look at the spaceship. So structural 39, which I presume is the maximum, propulsion 8 and fuel 8, which is the maximum, and four habitation pods with life support and solar panels maxed out which means the population of the spacecraft is 40,000. The support and energy is 100%. Mass is 29,500 tons, which I assume is the maximum. It's fusion powered because I have the fusion power technology. And the flight time is predicted as 11.7 years, which I assume would always be the same if you max it out. And the probability of success is 100%. But before I launch it and finish the game, I want to save and not just the game, but also the video. Okay. This looks like it's pretty close to done. So I'm going to not waste any more time with this. Eh, it's not loaded yet. <laughs> Here we go. Okay.
So I'm going to use the go to. Actually, one other thing. I mentioned the demographic issues. I guess what I should do... Well, yeah, I don't really have the budget to be buying educational stuff, though. I don't know what to do. Well, I will in another turn, probably. <laughs> Pseudos are really advanced. Let's see. I wonder who that was. Maybe the Germans? I missed that completely. This is taking a long time, but at least we can see the units moving. 